Will the O4 video system work if you remove GPS from the goggles, Nord, Nord Squad? I assume no, because uh, remote ID requires the, the drone, standard remote ID requires that the drone not fly if remote ID is not working. And if you remove GPS from the goggles, remote ID will not work. Therefore, no, it will not work. Now, you're asking about the O4 video system, the standalone O4 video system, which hasn't been released yet. Currently, the only way for you to get an O4 video transmitter is to buy a Nevada 2, or I think there's two other drones out there that have it. I'm not 100% sure which model it is. So what you're asking is, in the future, when DJI releases the standalone O4 What'll, it, what'll happen? And the answer is, it will not have any concern with remote ID whatsoever, just like the O3 doesn't. When you're flying a self-built drone, DJI does not give a frick what you do with remote ID. That is up to you. The video transmitter doesn't care. The O3 doesn't care. When you fly the Avada 1 with the, with the goggles 2, it does remote ID. When you fly... The O3 air unit with the goggles too and your helm built drone, remote ID doesn't even exist. Okay, so now the goggles would probably, like potentially, the goggles would say, ah, GPS not detected. I don't want to do, uh, do come to work today. Like if you disable the GPS by like physically removing the chip, potentially the goggles would stop working. But that's just because DJI, like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they would, maybe they would, maybe they wouldn't. That's not a remote ID thing though. Yeah. JP Spin FPV says it's conjecture at this point. And I don't think it's impossible that RID will be included in the O4 air unit. DJI is trying to stay on the green side of the fence in regards to regulations. This is entirely false and makes zero fucking sense at all. The reason that they included a remote ID, and they've said this publicly and this is everywhere, is to follow the rules. The rule is that any complete drone that's sold has remote ID. DJI has yep. no interest in making you do remote ID. It's more work for them. It's tracking for them. They're f dealing with rules, all that kind of stuff. They do not care. The, the worst yes. that's going to happen on an O4 air unit is there'll be an option for remote ID. It'll have a GPS that you can turn on or not. But requiring yep. a remote ID to take off is only because they are legally required to do it. And there's no rule that says anything Correct. about an O4 doing that. And, oh. and, and, so again, to reiterate what Blunty just said, the rules do not require them to prevent you from taking off if you're using a self-built drone. And they don't in the O3. So even if you thought, yes, but DJI is evil and wants to do bad things and make us all sad, well, then they would have done it in the O3, and they didn't. So, and just to be clear, the goggles DJI... of GPS... Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. The goggles of GPS for the reason Bardwell said already, which is they sell complete drones. So yep. the goggles have GPS so that you can fly the drones with GPS and you can share your location because that's yep. how the requirement works. That is not used when you are using this, the, the O3 air unit in a self-built drone. Well, I mean, maybe it's broadcasting your information to Aeroscope. I don't know. But as far as remote ID goes, it's not used. So this DJI wants to stay on the green side of the fence. You don't understand what the regulations are. You have misunderstood the rules, and now you are impugning DJI that they would do something that they're not required to do and that they haven't done. Like, let's hold DJI to task when they do shitty things, which they have done. I'm not trying to gloss that over. But let's also, number one, understand what the rules actually require. And number two recognize what they have actually done in the past and how that could uh, project forward. Now, if they include remote ID in the O4 air unit as like, we will broadcast remote ID for you so you don't need to add a remote ID module, I will say thank you as long as I have the option to turn it off. Because then that'll save me 70 bucks putting a remote ID module on my drone. And if they did that, that would be amazing. And everybody would say, ah, DJI put remote ID in the O4 air unit. It's the end of the world. We knew it was coming. And no one would actually understand, again, assuming that you have the option to turn it on and off. No one would understand why that was actually a good thing. So there are several possibilities here. One is that the O4 works just like the O3. 
when it's used on a self-built drone, it doesn't do remote ID at all. The second possible option, that's, by the way, I think what will actually happen. The second possible option is that DJI magnanimously builds remote ID into the O3 and gives you the option of enabling it and not having to put a separate remote ID or transmitter on there, in which case, yay, thank you, DJI. Or number three, that DJI forces you to do remote ID and refuses to take off on a self-built drone, which there's zero chance of that happening. Zero.